Hey folks, welcome to Connection Points. Pastor Dennis with you here, and today we're going to pick up in Acts, Acts chapter 10, verse uh, 9, and we're going to cover a pretty good section here up through verse 23. Yesterday we talked about uh, the angel coming to Cornelius and sin and, and Cornelius, there's Roman centurion sending um, people to Peter, asking Peter to come and visit him. Um, that God had had um, told Cornelius through the angel that that he needed to call for Peter, and and really this was going to change. This is the beginning of the expansion of the church from Jewish to Gentile, and and so. Here we're going to see um, where Peter is prepared for and receives that call. So in Acts chapter 10, verse 9, it says, About noon the following day, as they were on their journey and, the, um, and approaching the city, Peter went up on the roof to pray. He became hungry and wanted something to eat, and while the meal was being prepared, he fell into a trance. He saw heaven open up and something like a large sheet being let down on the let down let down to the earth by its four corners. It contained all kinds of four four-footed animals as well as reptiles and birds. Then a voice told him, "Get up, Peter, kill and eat." "Surely not, Lord," Peter replied. "I have never eaten any I've never eaten anything impure or unclean. The voice spoke to him a second time. Do not call anything impure that God has made clean. Now, I want to stop there because Peter is entering into a, a new phase of, really, a new phase of Christianity. A new understanding. Because up to this point, Peter has not only believed he's fought for the fact that to become a a christian you must first be a jew you, you must first be be uh circumcised and and we'll see you know times in peter's life where he kind of waffles on that a little bit even over in galatians the apostle paul calls calls peter out on that and, and says you know you, you kind of gave in to this when even after you had had this experience of God saying, "No, don't call what is unclean what is what I've made clean unclean," and what He's talking about there are the Gentiles, because God is expanding to all the world. Remember in Acts chapter one verse eight, He said, "You will be my witness in Jerusalem, Judea." We're fine there, right? Jerusalem, Judea. We're still Jewish. Samaria, oh, wait a minute, Samaria is a different kind of place. And then to all the world, what do you mean all the world? That's where the Gentiles live. That's who the Gentiles are. So God had an expansion process already in place from the beginning of time. So um, he was using the Jewish people in Israel as a micro picture of a macro reality. In other words, he was taking a small nation and showing them how God works, how God operates with the people that he has relationship with, so that when it spread to the entire world, the, the entirety of humanity, uh, we would be able to look back and see how he dealt with this tiny nation so that we can see how he's dealing with everyone. And, and so it, it, when when the voice came to Peter, it says, get up and kill and eat. And Peter is like, no, 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 I, that's against my religion. <laughs> I, 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 that, that's against my doctrine. That's against what I've ever, what I, my traditions. That's against everything that I've ever done. And so, uh, you know, that's what God challenges us to, I believe. I believe that God gives us rituals and traditions and all of these things to a point and they are for a reason they represent something and they have value but ultimately when those rituals and traditions and and uh, religions become a a roadblock when they become the object of our affection rather than that which they are representing or pointing to then we then we enter into a place where there where there is a religious spirit Right, a spirit that says, "This is how you have to do it. This is the only way that you can do it. This is my way. Therefore, it's the right way to do it." See that? That's a religious spirit, and that's the spirit that I believe God calls us to fight against, and that's what He's calling Peter 
out of right now and and helping him to see that this is not this is not the will of God this is not the plan to stay in this place uh, forever so um, in, in verse 16 it says this happened three times and immediately the sheet was taken back into heaven while Peter was wondering about the meaning of this vision the men sent by Cornelius found uh, found out where Simon where Simon's house was and stopped at the gate they called out asking for Simon uh, who was known as Peter uh, if Simon who was known as Peter was staying there verse 19 while Peter was still thinking about the vision the Spirit said to him Simon three men are looking for you so get up and go downstairs do not hesitate to go with them for I have sent them and Peter went down and said to the men I am the one you are looking for why have you come verse 22 the men replied we have come from Cornelius the centurion he is a righteous and God-fearing man who is respected by all the Jewish people a holy angel told him to ask you to come to his house so that he could hear what you have to say then Peter invited the men into the house to be his guests so Peter now he's told by the Holy Spirit that these three men are coming and to go with them to not hesitate but go with them and so Peter goes down and he invites Gentiles into the house where he's staying which is already breaking norms right it's already breaking down boundaries it's already stepping far beyond where Peter uh, would typically be uh, comfortable with as a Jewish believer but you see here's my point today I, I believe that that God wants us to break down to to break out of those things that we have deemed as unclean because when God calls something to redemption it's no it's no longer unclean and it's not our place to de declare whether this is right this is wrong whether this is okay or not okay if if God if God is or is God is in it <laughs> then then it's it's good and it's and it's his um and, and and god can take anything and turn it into something good even us even a sinner even even a person uh who ha has has gone way beyond or way overboard or or uh, too far out there god can redeem all of that you see god's grace is sufficient and no matter who you are where you are what you've done God's grace is sufficient to cover all your sin because God's grace is more powerful than any sin you would be ever be able to commit so I, I just want to pray for for that today I just want to pray Holy Spirit I just pray that you would reveal to us your grace that you would help us to experience your grace in a, a whole new way to understand that you can overcome anything in our lives even the things that we have always thought as uh, unclean or or in a way in the way or an obstacle you are able to take those things and redeem them and turn them into something good and I just pray Lord that you would reveal that to us and show us what that means in our own lives and our own experience today as we look to you for your grace in Jesus name Amen Amen have a great day everybody see you soon